reaction today is that if you are a patriot, you would support the eradication of terrorism that goes on and then continues that if you do not support the eradication of the LTT, you're not a patriot. You're a pariah. Who says that you don't want to eradicate terrorism? How would you do Every, that? Well, you know, there are different means and ways in how you can eradicate terrorism. And parents need to teach their children me, that? Believe me, how did we bring... Parents need to te teach their children that there is more than one way? Is that, is that important? Well, it's not a matter of parents uh, trying to teach the children there is more than one way. If you teach children the right values mm. and to respect humanity, they, once they you know, reap the benefits of education, they will have a mind or they will have that knowledge, that divine wisdom to do what is right. You know? But I think we need to first start and do what is right. And if Mr. Pillian and Mr. Karuna, Aman, can lay down their arms, I do not know whether they have laid down their arms yet. You know, uh, I just watched the government ban the LTT, and one of the reasons to why they said they banned the LTT was because of child soldiers. But then a couple of weeks ago, Mr. Pillian committed to one of the uh, human rights, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, heads it's, of the human yeah. rights, uh, whatever, um, that he would uh, lay off his child soldiers. What does that say? Well, on that note, and I'm sure the audience will have many responses uh, to that question, but also on your note of optimism that parents should and must take, uh, and a society at large must society, take a responsibility. It's not just parents. I think society at large has to be more responsible and think beyond what they are doing and living in their own little cocoon, you know, thinking Thank you very much. On that note, we, we really have to end the conversation. Thank you very much for joining us today, Rosie. Pleasure. It's my pleasure. Thank you.